first thing we do is drain the oil because we're gonna have to take the push rods out rock our arms off and to put the new uh, push rod tubes in and these are a special tube with a spring on it instead of the old ones you crush so you don't have to take the heads off so here we go That's how you drain the oil. And I am going to take this plate off here, but later, so that I can put a new gasket on and a new oil screen. And I don't want to put a oil filter on because it came without that, and I don't want to change it. So, next thing we got to do is take these screws out of these uh, tins. So, I get a screwdriver. <coughs> I need to shut it off every time I get loose. First we gotta take the valve covers off. Both sides. Okay, that's that. We got them off, and I'm gonna make a thing for my uh, push rods so I don't get them mixed up. I want every push rod going back in the same hole. So I take the lifters out, and I mean the push rods, and I don't want them to go in a different hole than they came out of. Let's see. Uh -huh. So, I just use this cardboard to keep them, keep them in order, because uh, otherwise they can roll around, get all mixed up, but I don't know if it even matters, but to me it matters, and I'm the one doing it, so <laughs> I'll do it this way. That way, everyone will go back in the same hole, and we know that the writing, the side that sticks out and the other one goes against the lifters in the in the block okay okay get these tubes out i'm not worried about them i'm replacing them that's what i'm doing here so i'll just destroy them getting them out won't hurt a thing some gaskets left up in there but they'll just pull right out and guys uh, this is my first time filming helping him out so i just want to say that i might be shaking and oh, one more there and we couldn't get them screws to the screws without pulling the motor so we just bent this down out of the way it should be fine okay let me check for gaskets Good there. All right, these clean up really easy. I'm surprised how nice they clean up. But you're gonna have to clean them a little. And before you put the new ones in. That's awesome, looks good. So, yeah, you clean both sides. I don't clean that side, so we're gonna to go to the other side. Right. Guys, this is a part of that push rod tube, and to stick them together, it's it's really a bear. So, we're gonna put a little uh, molly grease on here. 
and well, not really a little, that's a lot, ain't it? And then we gotta put our spring on there, make sure it goes all the way down. And a little molly grease right on this edge, because this is what the uh, rubber O-rings go over. Put a little bit down in the barrel if you want to. And sorry about that joke previously, I just couldn't resist. So now, um, we just got to push it down. There went the first old line. And the second line. Mm -hmm. There it goes. So you want it to do like that. And when you collapse it, you can put it right up in there. No problems. So, all right, guys. Now, this is the way we're going to do it because getting these tubes up in here you can destroy these gaskets or you can destroy your tube so what we've been doing is we put this in this uh, little bar clamp and compress it like this then once we get it compressed you can see i've got these two hose clamps on here so once we get it compressed we take a zip tie and we go around these hose clamps with a zip tie and that way when we put it up in there it fits in loose i cut the zip tie and it expands and we've got a perfect fit without messing the gaskets up without prying them in or anything like that so this is a good deal so good all right friends this is ricky and uh we're about to put one of these tubes in this is how it looks once we get it collapsed and we put the zip tie on it. So then we can stick it up in here like so. Uh, it's best to do the spring end first toward the block. And still got to wiggle it some. But once you get it in the hole on the bottom part, got to go right in there. There we go, I see. Now it's loose. That's what we want. Let the fit loose. Okay, I can stick my finger over here and make sure it's centered good. Pull this out. And uh, my cutting pliers. And I cut the zip tie. But don't cut the zip tie till you got your uh, clamps down where you can get your nut driver on. And pop. A spring popped, it's tight. Gasket looks good here. Fantastic. Okay, so, uh, cameraman, hand me that thing right there. So, I use this because it's quicker to take the clamps off with. Uh oh. That is not the right socket. I got to suck it on backwards. <laughs> Hey folks, <laughs> there we go. So, let's take them clamps off. Like that. And it's that easy, you gotta take one more clamp off, but I gotta change sockets for that. So, it's that easy. Uh, I hope you have uh, enjoyed this uh, video and uh, if, if you could, uh, press the like button and uh, subscribe and we'll see you next time. All right, guys. Now, to get these uh, push rod tubes out, we had to just kind of bend them a little bit, but they're not finished. You can straighten these back out. Just pull it like that and... Oh, wow, that looks good. See, I told you they're reusable. <laughs> like.